Hello, everybody. I hope that wasn't absurdly loud in your ears. If it was, I'm sorry. Um, welcome. Welcome back. It's been ridiculously long since I last streamed. This might be the longest I've ever gone without streaming. Maybe not, but I feel like it was. It was a lot. <laughs> it's, it's been a lot. It's... <laughs> It's been a lot. Um, thank you, Clara, for subscribing for 12 months, a whole year. I uh, I realized that like five minutes before I hit the go live button. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> wait a minute. This is gonna be a year for some people. That's really cool. Hello, Thrio. Thank you so much for the three months. And El Basker, thank you so much for the five months. Oh my goodness. And you guys have got a hype train going with like five, we're like five minutes into the stream, not even. So hello, Lazagun, thank you so much for the 11 months. Welcome back. Hi yes, Thrio, hype train, absolutely. Oh my goodness, so much hype. Um, I think it's been so long since I last streamed that like all of the streaming things forgot who I was and I had to re-log in, <laughs> which I think is why the bot on Discord wasn't posting i think i uh i may need to re-log into to that bot for it to remember that i exist <laughs> because because it's been a while hello dad welcome on in hello, uh, i said laza god but hello and skulk and uh chuchara pops and clara and dragon sorry dragon i i said hello to you right at the beginning and then i <laughs> my brain blanked um and el basker and everybody i know i've said hello to some of you multiple times but hello 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 welcome 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 um <laughs> chop chew <laughs> i like it also can we just appreciate the twitch um animated emo of the little dino dancing because that's i i adore it it's probably one of my favorite emotes um just like in existence i have a lot i have uh, they're like i'm i'm quite proud of the donut tangent emote but the little dinosaur dancing is pretty great um but uh but yeah welcome on in uh it's been a while i i had i think it was like i had a flare for a couple of weeks that made streaming really difficult at least on the days it was supposed to happen and then i got covid i went to a friend's wedding and we don't know who had COVID there, but about 50% of the people from the wedding ended up with COVID and I ended up with COVID. And as you can imagine, um, hype train deck, yes. Hello, Orc boy, welcome on in. Hello, Johanna, welcome in. Um, yeah, so I got COVID and uh, as you can imagine with seven chronic illnesses, COVID, uh, on top of that is a real bad time. So I didn't I didn't end up needing to like go to a hospital or anything, but there were points where I wasn't entirely sure that I didn't need that. Like points where I was kind of like, okay, if this gets worse, we need to call somebody. So uh so it was it was rough. Hello V's, welcome on in. It's it's okay though. I'm the, the weirdly like the COVID symptoms were kind of fine. It was that it kicked all of my chronic illnesses into high gear. So if you thought I've had bad flares in the past, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was like three or four different chronic illnesses flaring all at once. It was real, real difficult and annoying and bad. So like I could barely think straight. Um, so for those of you who may be wondering, oh, did RQ plays, you know, you had like a month plus where you weren't streaming. You must have played a lot of Minecraft, right? Uh, I played some Minecraft. <laughs> But uh, can't stay for too long, but at least wanted to help in, it, hop in. It's so good to see you, Vs. Um, it's so good to see all of you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I can stream. But uh, but yeah, so I didn't I didn't play huge amounts of Minecraft because every time I tried, my brain was like, how does this game work? <laughs> and and uh, so I stopped. So I, I played a lot of Stardew Valley. I, I started a game like when the, the initial flares hit and then it was like all I played when I had COVID. So <laughs> so uh, I, I went from starting a brand new farm to reaching perfection. It was, I put in like a hundred hours. It, it, I played a lot of Stardew Valley and I'm not sure it was a great idea. You pop into here, you weren't the only one recently. Oh, I'm so sorry. You also had COVID artistry. I hope you're feeling better. Um, and also welcome on in. And uh, yeah, so I played a lot of Stardew Valley and then Kalia, Palia, however you say it, then that got released. And um, I don't know how much time I've spent playing Palea because uh, probably for the best, they don't tell you how many hours you've spent in the game. <laughs> um, all I know is that it's a lot. I've played a lot of Palea. 
I uh, I enjoy that game a lot. I you guys probably are not surprised to hear that if you've played Halia. I I'm one of those players that really likes like wandering around a map and picking stuff up as I go. And there's a really Halia does really well with that. It's like a big enough map to have new places to go each time you go out. But at the same time, it's not so big that you get lost. And uh, and there's do I think Palea could run on your laptop? That I don't know. I know that some people do put it on their laptops. Um, I would say if you play it on your laptop, turn the graphics settings to like the lowest possible and then kind of raise them, like see what your laptop can handle in terms of the graphics. But I, I know that a number of people do play on their laptops. You might find, um, although I guess you, you probably have played games on like this on your laptop before, um, thank you so much again for the hype train, everybody. That's really exciting to, to come back to. Um, uh, yeah, you play on yours and it's set pretty low. Yeah, I know a number of people play on laptops. I would say you might find, if you don't already, having a mouse, like an actual mouse that you play with, is probably the best way to go for Palea, just because I feel like it's going to get difficult. Um, or, or like a controller. I think they brought in controller support or they brought back controller support. It's still in beta though, so it doesn't always work. Um, so mouse and keyboard at the moment are the, the controls that they do best with for now. Um, but yeah, fairly weak laptop for gaming can manage Minecraft. If it can manage Minecraft, I feel like it can probably, it, well, mm, my current laptop can manage Minecraft, but it sounds, well, whenever my laptop does anything, it sounds like it's a plane about to take off. So. <laughs> So uh, so I, I wouldn't trust Paleo on that laptop, but if your laptop can handle Minecraft and it's not like dying every time it plays Minecraft, I feel like you can probably get Paleo on there um, and uh, and and work with it. It's a good game. I'm debating I'm debating making a community in Paleo. I actually ran into it. So I woke up at like 2 a.m. this morning and I couldn't get back to sleep. So after like half an hour or so, I gave up and I came through to here and I started playing Paleo. And Ms. Halcyon was on and found me in the in the town and like was sitting there trying to say hello. And I'm so used to just ignoring people in <laughs> in Paleo that I didn't even notice and I just ran away and she had like whispered a message. I was like, oh no. So uh, so we we did eventually catch up, but uh but I ran into Ms. Halcyon this morning. I'm debating making like a community that people can join so that if you want we can do stuff like I don't know resource harvesting and such um but uh you don't know if you can stream paleo if you're on a laptop but it runs well yeah I don't I haven't attempted to look into streaming paleo yet um although I did uh I did hello moon thank you so much for 12 months I know right 12 months it's it's amazing um Oh, you've started a community, can add anyone. Cool. Okay. So yeah, we could we could do that. Uh, can you you can only belong to one community at a time, right? I think. So that might be something we can we can throw it in the Discord, but um for those of you who are curious and like Palea, um we, we can we can kind of figure it out in in text form in the Discord, but I am semi obsessed with this game. Um Breath is my, is he my favorite? Yeah, he's my, his enthusiasm for soup. It's, it's, it's ridiculous and lovely and I enjoy it. Also, for those of you who are playing Paleo but maybe haven't gotten to the romance options yet, um, <laughs> they're hilarious. So, uh, so that's, that's all I'm gonna say. I, I adore this game. It's ridiculous. It is in beta, so there's like there's some things that don't quite work right, or there's some text things that are misspellings or or grammatical mistake. I don't really care. It's in beta. Um, what they've got is pretty great. I adore it. It's amazing. Um, hello, uh, hello, Robert Skitch. I was like, wait a minute, somebody came in, and then I lost your name. Hello, Robert Skitch. Welcome on in. These you and Moon are finally in a room together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a chat room. Technically, you're in Discord all the time, but um, but you know what I mean. Um, hello, Sheep Scalibur. Welcome on in. Oh my goodness, so many of you. Hello, hello. Um, yeah. So so I've been sinking a lot of time into Paleo because it's a really good game, and uh, and it's really easy to like hop on and play for a little bit, and then hop off if you need to. Not that I ever really hop on and play for only a little while before I hop off. I tend to I tend to sink a lot of time um 
uh, you're glad you weren't the only one that lost your name. <laughs> yeah, the beta version is so much better than the full release of D Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh, really? I never played Disney Dreamlight Valley because uh, it felt a little too... <laughs> The Disneyification was a little too much for me. I mean, I know that's exactly what the game is. So I was, I don't think I was quite the target audience for that game. Um, but, uh, but I've seen a lot of people play it. I just didn't, I wasn't aware of like the bugs and things, but yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, so the, the, the gist is here, let's, let's head into, hold on. Let's head into, 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 hold on. Wait a minute. I should at least I should at least take my armor off before I say hi to you guys. There we go. Hello. Welcome. Um we still have pens of cows and sheep. I did dye the sheep pink. These are not naturally generated pink sheep. I am not that lucky. Um but uh I I wanted pink curtains and rugs and things for my house to go with the cherry wood. So I'm, I'm not much of a pink fan, but the cherry wood, I like it. So, uh, so yeah, but they're still in this, these, these boxes. Um, here, let me, let me put my armor on before I forget and end up dying to a creeper. Um, they're, they're still in these boxes and then no tartan sheep. No, I wish you could do that in Minecraft. That's so funny. Um, we, uh, I, uh, my dad and my stepmom were visiting last week, so I, I felt better from COVID, was testing negative like multiple days before they arrived, and then they arrived last week, and, uh, and I, we, we went a lot of places, all over the place, and, uh, in Scotland, I don't know if you guys are aware of Highland cows, um, hopefully you are, because they're amazing, but, uh, in Scotland, the tourism board pays people to have Highland cows like on or near places where tourists can see them. So uh, so it's actually like beneficial for farmers to have Highland cows because they get additional money from the tourism board because they're so heavily marketed. They're also adorable. Um, so we my my dad and my stepmom were seeing Highland cows for the first time and they were very happy. My dad might have seen them before, but yeah, the XP bar is rainbow. Um, because, you know, we gotta do rainbow, we gotta do rainbow anyway, and then we gotta do, uh, LGBT plus support, because I am so many of those different letters. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Hello, Glam Pixie! Welcome on in! Hello, hello, hello! Um, yes. What? <laughs> Highland Coos! They're the cute fuzzy coos! They are! I love Highland cows. They're great. We had some actually on Iona when I was digging. Um, we had some that were in the same field as the house that we were staying in, which and it was all bulls. It was like f five or six. It wasn't that many, but they were all they were all male, and uh, and so they all had temperaments, and they were generally fine, except that one day like one of them sat down in front of the Land Rover, and we needed to drive the Land Rover out. <laughs> so so we had to figure out how to move this massive Highland cow when we didn't have anything of interest for him. <laughs> so, so, uh, so that was entertaining. Um, I do also still have this box of chickens and they are like so overcrowded. I, I had been taking some of the eggs because it was taking up space in the chest and like firing them into here, but obviously that's, that's not great. So I really like, I, I would never stand for this in real life because, because I've been on farms where that's the case and it's atrocious. Um, so, uh, so we need to build a chicken coop, but I don't have a plan for a chicken coop yet. So, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to wool cows for Minecraft when I know, right. We should get, we should get, I know that there are mods where you can have Highland cows. There are Minecraft mods that have Highland cows in them. I don't remember which ones they are. I just know that they exist. So maybe that that might be a thing to investigate if you want Highland cows in your Minecraft game. Have I really been in the countryside if you haven't been inconvenienced by the wildlife? Absolutely, <laughs> Chichar Boss. That's actually one of my dad's favorite stories. The the first time that he came to Scotland, um, we were on a bus from where were we on a bus from from Fort William down to Oban which is on the west coast of Scotland. And the bus had to stop because there was a lamb on the side of the road and nobody could see where the, the mother was. And uh, and it turned out that the mother was like across the road and just kind of like hidden by brush. But the entire bus stopped so that the driver could get out and look for this little lamb's mother. And uh, and I was like, yeah, no, that's just what happens in, <laughs> in the Scottish countryside. And my dad was like, that's astonishing. That wouldn't, what? <laughs> so, so, uh, so yeah. 
The New Life mod pack has a cow mod in it. You believe, oh, that's cool. That would be very cool. Travesty is that woolly Highland cows have been in both Minecraft Earth and Minecraft Dungeons, but not in the core game. Oh, that's so sad. Minecraft is such a tease. <laughs> They're such good animals. Okay, all right. So we've got, I've got a design for a barn in mind. Um, we're gonna have to decide, I mean, we're gonna have to move. Annoyingly, I laid this out. It's like an eight by eight. I know it's even build, but I like having the double doors for barns. So um, so it's an even build and we're gonna deal with it. It's gonna be fine. It's uh, it's not cringe. It, it's gonna, it'll it'll be fine. Um, the downside is that I laid it out and it means I have to move both the sheep and the cows. So t-shirt check. Yes, this is one of the new, uh, one of the new redemptions because I like my t-shirts and uh, I've realized that you guys can't always see them. So hold on, let me, let me get to chatting. Granted, I've limited it to like one every like 30, 20 or 30 minutes so that we can't just constantly have a t-shirt check. So don't worry. Um, but this time it's little rainbow dinosaurs. Hold on. There you go. It's little rainbow dinosaurs. <laughs> Hello, McScrewgun. Welcome on in. Um, yeah, I I love my t-shirt collection. I have more on the way because I was like, I need new t-shirts. I'm going to get fun t-shirts. So uh, so yeah, if you're ever curious about what my t-shirt design is, I, I can actually show it to you in full. And it's like, it's super cheap as a redemption because I don't want you guys <laughs> having to spend massive amounts of channel points just to see what my t-shirt is because that's ridiculous. Um, the other one is, the other new one is a... Um, is what am i doing what am i saying is an art uh close-up because i often have stuff from raha kaduji behind me and i've got new artwork so if you ever want to see it close up that's the other uh redemption there again it's fairly cheap it is there is a cooldown of again like 20 or 30 minutes just so that we don't have it all the time but um but just if you want to if you ever want to see some of the artwork close up you can do that yeah rainbow dinosaurs um, hang on, sheep scalper. You could always move the blocks two meters to one side and not move the cows and sheep. I could, but I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> this is the thing. Like, <laughs> objectively, adjusting some of this, like terraforming this bit, is a lot less work than moving both the sheep and the cows. Um, but, but. In my brain, it's like, no, that's too much work. <laughs> so, which is which is ridiculous. Um, because because you're right, Chief Scalibur, it would be significantly easier to just move this like two or three blocks over. Um, and and yet. Uh and yet. Um, I guess the question is so, because I do want a separate barn for the cows and the sheep, right? Um, so question because like one for cows and one for sheep. The question then becomes, um, where do I put the second barn? Because I do want there to be like an outdoor element. I want them to have some pasture because that's important. And also for sheep, they kind of need it. Like if, if you don't give them grass, you never get wool. So uh, so we, I do want like an outdoor component to this. But at the same time, um, oh my gosh, I've already talked for so long that we've lost an in-game day. But that's fine. I have a bed. It's all good. It's fine. Um, yeah. Not in Minecraft scene. Oh, we're not in the Minecraft. Uh, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so good at streaming, you guys. Sorry, I forgot that you couldn't see this because we had done the t-shirt check. Um, yeah, so I could, I could literally move this two or three blocks over. This is literally the bit that I'm like, uh, do I want to terraform this? Um, versus moving the entire populations of both of these pens. Um, obviously, <laughs> this is less work. <laughs> but in my, my head is like, that feels like more work than this. Um, so we'll see if I can convince myself that it's actually, uh, well, and actually, yeah, because then I would have to, Let's see, it's like two and two. Yeah, we'd probably want to go to here. Okay, I could do that. We can do that. I'm I'm not lazy. 
it's I mean, like if I move these, then <laughs> it's definitely the harder option, but it's fine. I could do this. I, I don't know why my brain is just like, this is too much. I'm, I'm genuinely curious why my, my brain is like, no, this is more work because it's not, it genuinely isn't. Um, oh, and we lost our shovel. Okay, fine. Uh, let me, th oh, oh, this is the thing. I've been playing too much Palea and so, <laughs> um, <laughs> We'll see if I remember the controls for Minecraft. Did I know that the reason Minecraft llamas attack wolves is because they're llamas in real life who are used to protect sheep flocks? I did, yes. Llamas can be very protective and they're very useful um, for exactly that, protecting sheep flocks and, and really just any animal that you have, but especially things like sheep or goats. Um, goats uh, goats will, will also defend themselves. Sheep are less... They will defend themselves. I mean, there's a reason a ram is called a ram, but, uh, but they, yeah. Absolutely, um, but I only know that because I've grown up in farming areas. So, um, so it's it's a very cool. I like I like when Minecraft does things like that. And they're like, here, here's a connection to real life that you may not have known about. Do we want to only do two? I was thinking three, wasn't I? I was thinking three. Hang on. You didn't realize that they attacked wolves in Minecraft. Guess you've never seen them together in the wild. Yeah, I've never. I I haven't seen that happen often. I was aware that it happened. I've never quite seen it. It would be nice, like in my archaeologist guide world, if uh, if a llama, if a wandering trader could come in with their llamas, that would be helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Door. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Um, just because I have so many wolves <laughs> in the woods, in that one. One, two. Let's do here. Um, and then the. The other one, I'll just leave this here until I move the cows. Um, and we can sort of... Hmm. I have gone here, though. This is less helpful. Hold on. I should have only gone... I should go back. I can do math and laying things out in Minecraft. I am capable of doing that in front of people watching on stream. <laughs> it's fine. You guys aren't here for my ability to math, so... <laughs> At least I hope not. So, so that's good. Okay, so then we can effectively use like this. I mean, I'm gonna switch it out for what's actually supposed to go there, but uh, yeah. The, the thing though, is that this then means that this is a barn for sheep, potentially. Or if, if I just undo what I did of moving everything back one and I move it back to where it like one block over, then I could move the sheep, which there's only like four of them. And uh, and then the cows, I can just kind of bring, they can stay where they are until I'm ready to move them. So here's a question. Is this barn for the sheep or the cows? Maybe I'll do a poll. Here, I'll do a poll and then I'll, I'll catch up with chat <laughs> because, because I'm hearing suggestions that I do math streams and I'm like, mm, we could, probably not gonna go very well. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Uh, barn for cows or sheep? Question. Cows. I was going to use the Scottish word for cows, but um, then I realized that might cause confusion. <laughs> so, so I'm using the normal word. But uh, that'll be a five minute poll. That should be live just now. And uh, yeah, they should do that with donkeys as well. Oh, that's yeah, that's very true. That's very true. That would be really cool if donkeys could be protective. I really like donkeys in Minecraft. They're one of my more favorite mobs in terms of like farm style mobs, like domesticated. There we go, domesticated mobs. I like donkeys a lot. Um, however, Artisy, I am not starting a trig tutoring stream. <laughs> I never took trigonometry. This, this might surprise you. I never took trigonometry because I did, what was it? Um, when I was in high school, my first year was like another year of, oh no, that was geometry. And then my second year, I think my second year was geometry, but it was what like first years, I changed schools basically. And it was what uh, people in th that school were supposed to take in, in their first year was geometry. So I took it in my second year cause that was when I moved schools. Um, 
And the I don't remember what I took in my first year of high school. It was probably like additional algebra or something. And uh, and then I took pre-calculus, and I uh, I didn't like pre-calc enough to do regular calculus. So instead, I did advanced placement statistics, which was significantly helpful in uh, in archaeology. Not gonna lie. Um, probably the most helpful thing to take for archaeology. If if you're looking at math classes and you're like, what should I do? Go for statistics. That's really helpful. <laughs> um, see you later, Vs. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Am I still in peaceful? I am not. I am. I am in hard mode. I uh, I I was using peaceful a little bit for resource gathering when I was really ill because I'm like, well, I'm just resource gathering and I really don't want to deal with creepers. But no, I moved back to hardcore, not hardcore, to hard mode. <laughs> I'm not playing in hardcore on this world. I do have a world where I've played in hardcore and I've managed to last for like 10 to 20 in-game days. I feel like it's more than that. That's not, that. it feels like more than that. But like, I have not played much in that world. It stresses me out too much. Okay, um, so we need to, I need, I need wheat. Let's, let's get you guys. Um, hello, yes, hello. Can we, excuse me, hold on. Okay, I have plenty of dirt here. Come this way for a hot second. All four of you, please, thank you, hello, yes, uh-huh. Okay, we're gonna do one, two, three. Here, I'll give you slightly less of, uh, well, is it? <laughs> I was gonna be like, I'll give you guys slightly more space in this pen, um, but I'm not actually sure that I'm doing that, so back out. Wait, come here. Come in. I know that I'm still holding the wheat and that that is gonna make this infinitely harder, but it's fine. Okay, now if we do this, okay. Look, all right, I thought I only had one left. Where'd you go? Um, come here, back, hello. Actually, I have the ladder, hold on. I can, we can do this, no. Eh. Can you, can you guys, can you, hold on. I scroll on the bar. Eh. There we go, okay, all right. If I build another barn today, this one is gonna be in the way, but that's fine. We'll we'll just we'll do it. Okay, so what's the oh we we haven't finished the poll yet. What's the what's the current result? Cows. Okay, a lot of you are saying cows. That's good, because I just moved the sheep. <laughs> I forgot that I hadn't actually like looked at the well, I mean I was gonna need to move the sheep regardless. Um, just for ease of building, they would need to be moved. Just just cause trying to build a building with sheep in the way is gonna be ridiculous okay and then this should be one two three four five what did i do it D wait oh yeah was i gonna did i okay hang on did i we're gonna we're gonna use this wall <laughs> I'm, I'm a functional human i know what i'm doing it's this is why i should never teach math um personally because that's just that's just not gonna not gonna happen. Hello, danger girly. Welcome on in. You heard the word trigonometry and now you itch. <laughs> yes, I I never took it, so uh, I I never had to worry about it. I'm sure it's useful in archaeology as well, of like knowing where things are. But like, the archaeology I've done, either I've needed trigonometry and didn't realize it, or I've never needed trigonometry. It is I have never consciously used trigonometry. I have never knowingly used trigonometry in archaeology. That doesn't mean it's not something that other people use. I'm sure other people do significantly. I just don't <laughs> personally. Um, yeah. Otan Bakunya. Yes, the cattle rate of Cooley. Hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a thing I'm missing. Hold on. Let me, let me. The are sheep regularly kept in barns outside of lambing? Um, I don't know. Like in the British Isles, I'm not, probably not most of the time. Like generally speaking, they're outside. 
Um, and they'll have like trees and things to hide, to like chill under. But outside of poor weather or lambing, like like winter time, if there's gonna be a massive snowstorm, they'll get put into barns. We do, however, in the British Isles, technically, we don't call them barns. Um, I mean, like we do, but technically in British English, a barn is used for storing hay and fodder and like cereal crops and things like wheat or barley or something. And a buyer is used for storing animals, particularly for cattle, um, because cattle were like a major, major uh, resource in uh, a lot of history for this part of the world. They were effectively like currency, basically. Um, a lot of the time. Uh, do I? Okay, so this is the thing. I took screenshots and then I failed to actually bring the screenshots up. So hold on. <laughs> hold on while I get my screenshots. <laughs> hold, hold on. Wait a minute. Here we go. We can do this. All right. I didn't want to build, like, I could have made it uh, like a build from a. Um, like a, a schematic, but I found that when I do builds from schematics, it's harder for me to keep up with chat. And I like keeping up with chat. And we can already tell that it's uh, it's not great. <laughs> I'm not great at keeping up with chat anyway. Is that the Gallic word for cow? Oh, yeah, probably. That would make sense with the Tan Bokonya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it might be spelled slightly differently in in Gaelic, the Scottish version of, of Irish, basically. I mean, so, okay, so... Gaelic and Irish are two languages that are derived from the same original language, which is Old Irish, basically. So the, yeah, it, Gaelic used to be the equivalent of, well, it, yeah, they're derived from the same language, um, but they're, they're different languages today. But they're often very interchangeable. There are a lot of things that are the same, and then there are a lot of things that aren't. And the spelling in particular is one of the big things that isn't, uh, isn't the same. Okay question then is did I take is it dark oak that I used for this 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 will make sense eventually I promise I'm <laughs> I'm just debating I can't remember if I if I used spruce or dark oak I think I used spruce because it was um it blends better with the dark oak so you can see how the spruce logs, they're kind of a similar color. Whereas if you get the um, the dark oak logs, they're kind of gray and they're washed out a little bit next to the dark oak planks. So if you're, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm using, yeah, I'm using spruce. Okay, all right, cool. We're gonna get rid of this because this is not part of the build. <laughs> but Irish language is called Gaelga. Yeah, or, oh, Gaelga. Oh, that's interesting. You've been trying to learn and melting your brain. I know that um, that it's also often called Irish, like in English, it, calling it Irish is a thing. Um, now you realize why you always felt kind of confused with people saying barn, yes. So, and also just spelling for buyer, um, by the way, is uh, B-Y-R-E. So that is, that's a, it's not the same as buyer, but if you've ever seen like a road, so in Glasgow, there's a road, a road called Byers Road. It's B-Y-R-E-S. That just means that it had a whole bunch of places where people could keep their cattle as they drove them to market, right? So that's what Byers Road used to be. So if you ever see a Byers Road, that's, that's what it is. Nice thing about geometry is any drawing, the worst about advanced calculus is how much not drawing you do. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, geometry, I, in, I appreciate geometry, and yes, I agree, Danger Girly, um, trig is often used in GIS and LiDAR. I don't do GIS and LiDAR very frequently, so I don't need to worry about it too much, but if you do go into that, uh, you, you do end up needing to, needing to do it. Okay, here, let me do, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna sort of give you a gist of what I'm doing with this build i think i think that's what i'm gonna do let's do this okay this might get interesting because again i'm working off of screenshots and i've never done that on stream before so we'll see how successful i am but basically there's like okay so i've been messing around with putting more texture onto a build than i necessarily would like you all know that I build way smaller usually than I should. Um, I've been trying to improve on that. Uh, oh no, hang on, wait a minute. 
that should be up here. Um, and, and like over here, I had, okay, you can't see like any of it on this side. Hold on. I can, I know how to move in Minecraft. I'm a professional, uh, probably. Um, so here I've been kind of experimenting with like adding accents to the side of the, of the wall. And like, I don't know, just, just making more depth in the build. Um, on the one hand, I like it. I, I like both styles. Like B-dubs has been doing a lot of stuff where stuff is very straight and like not, there's not a lot of depth, but the depth comes from the color. And I think that's really cool. Um, but I also really like this kind of style. So, uh, so this is, this is, this is what I'm doing. Um, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. I, however, should have, uh, maybe gotten up here. There we go. This is, I also haven't built this structure in survival, so there might be a whole lot of towering. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. So I've got this little, I mean, I know it's raining, but, um, I have gone for less intrusive rain, hopefully. So we'll see if it works. There's Scots Gaelic as well. Yes. So, so Scottish Gaelic is called Gaelic in this country, um, in Scotland. Uh, so yes. And then the confusion of Welsh, which is kind of st often still spoken in Wales and then Cornish. Yes. So, um, Welsh is also a, di a different branch of the language family, um, which is the same as same language family as Pictish. So, so Pictish Welsh, um, and I believe like, oh gosh, don't quiz me on this. Uh, this is where like several professors I know are um, gonna be disappointed in me because I don't remember it off the top of, top of my head. But Irish, uh, for example, and, and Gaelic or Scottish Gaelic is, uh, is one part of the language family. And then, um, is that what I'm doing? Why? Have I, have I done a bad thing? <laughs> this is, this is not, this is, this is 10 by, is it 10 by 10? Probably 10 by 10, isn't it? I failed to count just in general. I was going to add more to that sentence, but no, really, I just failed to count. So we're going to need to move the cows anyway, but that's fine. They're going into this barn so I can, once I've got a structure, I can just open it up for them. That's fine. Okay. Um, so let's do, we're going to do, uh, this. Oh, no, hang on. Um, so Pictish is from the same language family as Welsh, um, and Welsh and Irish and Scottish Gaelic, they're all from the, the same original language, but that same original language is like proto-Celtic. So they're all Celtic languages for lack of a better word. Um, Celtic, there's a lot of debate of whether it's a, a proper term to use, not because it's a bad term per se of like offensive or anything, but because um, it tends to end up meaning a whole lot of different things for a whole lot of different people. And so the question becomes, well, is this really the way to discuss this? And also when we're talking about as many different groups as there, as Celtic peoples are, um, is it appropriate to be lumping them together? Oh no, I needed trapdoors, didn't I? Did I? Well, I need both. That's fine. I'll get here. Let's do this. Um, is it appropriate to be lumping them all together under the term Celtic, especially because there are lots of different cultural uh, elements that differ between them as well? So when it comes to language families, we have Proto-Celtic, which then kind of goes into Brythonic Celtic and Gaelic Celtic languages. Those are the two families. Um, and Brythonic is, I believe, Pictish and Welsh. If that's wrong, correct me. Feel free to correct me because um, I, I, I'm i very sorry. I can't necessarily be confident in remembering that off the top of my head. Um, but here, let's just do this. This is going to work. I know, but uh, we need a lot of these. Do I quite need 32 stairs? Probably, actually. You know what? It'll be fine. Everything's fine. At the very least, we're building another barn as well, potentially. Maybe not this stream, but we're building another barn at some point, so <laughs> we may as well. Okay, so I'm just going to continue this pattern. But uh, but yeah, so Welsh and Pictish both came from... Um, uh, uh, Cumbric is kind of the... Or the, there are a number of different languages that are no longer spoken um, that then merged into... Oh, nope, that's the wrong one then merged into, uh, or merged into, then then became kind of Welsh and Pictish, etc. 
Um, so actually, Pictish is more closely related to Welsh, which is why in uh, the Carved in Stone book that I'm helping with, we're using predominantly the, like when we have terms for things, I'm predominantly aiming for the Welsh, using the Welsh term instead of using the Irish or Gaelic term because the Welsh term is probably a little bit closer to what the Picts actually called it. We don't have any records of the Pictish language aside from some elements of the written language that are uh, predominantly personal names or place names. Um, and then we have we have a whole lot of like Pictish uh, symbol stones, which are great, but uh, they're not they're not uh... oh man. <laughs> <laughs> hit the hit the the wrong part of the block. It's fine, um, but we don't we don't really have any of the Pictish language specifically, so it can be really difficult for us to say like what the Picts actually called different things. So where we're trying to do that in the book, we're we're generally erring on the side of the uh, of the Welsh terms, basically. But yeah, there you go. There's donut tangent about uh, Celtic slash Gaelic slash Irish languages. Uh, and such. But yes, in Scotland, um, the you had like, we actually had four different kingdoms. So if we talk about like the late 7th century, right? So early medieval period. Um, and the reason I know all this is because I've done all the research for, for carved in stones. <laughs> so uh, so this is, yeah, here you go. This is going to be Archeoplay's info dump while building about the early medieval period in Scotland. Um, tell me if it gets boring. Uh, so, in the early medieval period, we actually have four different major kingdoms that are at play in the late 7th century that are in what is now Scotland. Um, there was no nation known as Scotland at the time. Technically, okay, so so we've got the Picts, right? They're in what is often called Pictland, um, but can also be often called Fortrue, although Fortrue was, was really sort of the zone um, on the mainland and, and really kind of like northeastern Scotland. So like where Aberdeen is, that's kind of for true area. Aberdeen, Murrayshire, um, uh, towards Inverness, that kind of area. Um, and then into bits of Caithness, although Caithness often uh, kind of has its own thing going on as well. Okay, this is totally wrong. Get, get, get rid of this. <laughs> that's totally wrong. This is just a reminder that Archeoplays can't do math. Um, it's, it's fine. I, I can do math when, when I, I can tell machines to do math for me. That's, that's the gist. When I was in sixth grade, I used to, so I have like dyscalculia. It's not officially diagnosed, but oh my goodness, if I don't have it, I don't know who does. Um, so, so I'll read like addition signs as multiplication or vice versa. Um, and not realize until somebody points it out to me. Like I can reread the thing over and over and over again. And that's all I will see. Uh, so, um, my sixth grade teacher math teacher so this is when you're like 11 or so he uh if if i did something like um the question was four plus two equals question mark i would i would do four times two and write eight and uh, and he called that pulling in archaeoplays except he used my real name but <laughs> but, uh, but that was that was it yeah that kind of stuck with me the, the whole time okay so this is what am i doing i need I, okay i know what i'm doing Okay, so also hello Aldebar. I, I saw you come in and I don't remember if I said hello, but hello and welcome in. Um, yes, so <laughs> yes, Kara, yes, there's a lot going on. Um, so yes, th th hello. Ooh, I don't have any of the, well, I do have calcite. I don't have any emeralds, I don't think. Um. These are adorable. I don't have like any of these blocks. <laughs> I could get polished granite if I wanted. I could get jungle logs. I, I these aren't worth making the block for. I could do calcite. Okay, all right, we're gonna pass you up, sir. Um, but I appreciate the effort. Um, thank you. I don't think I have enough funds to interest you. Yeah, yeah. I that's what I thought. Bye. <laughs> He's gonna hang around though and be like, do you have the funds yet? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I still don't have anything. It's fine. I was making trapdoors. Okay, so, uh, so Pictish. Okay, so groups in Scotland. Sorry, I know I went like way off there. 
Those are from a data pack. Yes, they are a data pack. Um, I, I have mini blocks in here and I also have like mob heads and, and technically player heads as well, just in case I ever want to do a build um, that requires custom head pieces. But yes, there I do have a, a vanilla tweaks. Uh, I have vanilla tweaks data packs and then I also have the data pack that um, has chickens drop feathers without needing to die. Um, because the number of books that I am going to need in this series is absurd, and I don't want to kill all of the chickens all the time, basically. Um, and then the other one is um, zombies... No, wait. Being able to turn rotten flesh into leather, I believe, is the other one. So that, again, I don't have to, like... Uh, AFK at a zombie farm for forever. Or no, AFK at so that I don't have to kill all my cows. That's what it is. So I don't have to. So it's possible to get a few emeralds in a pinch. Oh, you're glad there'll be things you can sell to. Yes, sell to the wandering trader in the next update. I agree, Lazo God. I'm also really excited for the villager updates. I think it's gonna make it like a whole different ball game with villagers, and I'm really excited. The anthropologist in me is very excited for it. Um, I completely understand a number of players saying, oh my gosh, this is going to make things so much more complicated, because it will. Um, and I, I totally get that. But my play style is like all in favor of, <laughs> of making making it harder to to get villagers um, to well, to get I, I like it. I like that it the the amount of kind of life that it brings to the villagers, basically, and the, the use not the use, but like there's there's a lot of the differences between the different villages. We've been asking for like the villages to feel a little bit more unique this entire time, and I'm really excited. Okay, I promise I am gonna get back on the tangent of the four groups in Scotland. I'm just also semi catching up with chat as well. <laughs> um, so many been people, so many people have been talking about other villager changes. You haven't been paying attention to any updates. Yeah, I I kind of stopped for a while while I was uh, also while I was ill with COVID, I was like, this is interesting, but uh, I don't have the bandwidth to do this right now. <laughs> so I tend to be like in the live recordings of the Spawn Chunks because I really like uh, listening to it live and supporting the podcast that way. Um, and then I had COVID and I was like, yeah, this is not conducive to being supportive. You know, I'm, I'm just not. <laughs> so I didn't turn up for a while, which is like, it's not expected that you turn up or anything. It's it's totally optional anyway. But yeah, I felt a little badly that it, there was like a month where I was like, eh, bye everybody. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so four groups in Scotland. So we have the Picts. Um, they do, the Picts control um, basically all of Northeastern Scotland. So so uh, Aberdeenshire, Murrayshire, Fife, Angus, um, Perthshire, or at least bits of Perthshire, uh, a lot of sort of central Scotland to a degree, although as you get west, that's other territory, um, and, or other people's territory, for sure. Um, and then, what else, what am I saying? And let me, let me, let me grab some cherry wood and get, a, a, a this is where it's gonna get interesting. We're gonna get cows all over the place. Don't you go in there, because then it's going to be even more complicated. You don't get to come in. <laughs> That's not how this is going to work. Okay. Um, we're going to do this. I might regret this. But we'll see. It's going to be fine. I just, I need to build this part of the wall. And then they can just be in the building. Um, and that's kind of fine. But, uh, but yeah, so you have the picks. Um, they also control up into Caithness and Sutherland, which is the very northern part of mainland Scotland. Um, and then they also control Orkney and Shetland in the late seventh century. So the Orkney Isles are, are an archipelago that's off the coast of Scotland to the north. And then Shetland is even further north. Um, and they're actually significantly closer. Well, they're, they're very close to Norway um, and, and also, well, really Norway. Um, so that's that's the picks. And then um, you don't think the new villager changes are balanced? Yeah, I think they're there. I agree with people saying, um, particularly people saying, you know, if you're going to make mending so difficult to get, then get rid of the limits for enchanting because that's a little silly. Um, I very much agree with that as well. Um, but anyway, OK, so we have the picks. No, I forgot about that block. OK, well, you'll despawn eventually. It's fine. Um, how am I going to do this? 
how am I gonna do this? They're still they're still in this area. I could just bring them into Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. Okay, so that's the Picts. And then we have the then we have the Kingdom of Dalriada. Now the Kingdom of Dalriada um actually spans Scotland and Ireland. It it's kind of centered on uh well, Northern Ireland. Um, so, so, and that is often referred to as Scotia in this time. Um, so it's it, like, we do have a kingdom that, that is often referred to as Scotia, but that refers to Western Scotland and Northern Ireland um, and, and the group Dalriada at the time. Um, now Dalriada, they controlled a large amount of land. Um, so in Scotland, they basically controlled, uh, well, they didn't basically, they did control um, Argyle and Butte, um, they also controlled, whoop, hang on, let's get rid of the possibility of you guys escaping. So many, so many distractions. <laughs> um, Argyle and Butte, and then up, uh, sort of, uh, yeah, well, that, that kind of is like, Dalriada was kind of Argyle and Butte. <laughs> Argyle and Butte is really large as a as a, a council area in Scotland and it does basically cover um not quite the entirety of Dalrida because borders changed and, and shifted and things and the borders today are not exactly the borders of, of these kingdoms from the late seventh century because that that would be silly. Um but uh but yeah it's that it's it that's basically <laughs> it's more or less um more or less the the boundaries. And then parts of Northern Ireland. Um so if you've ever heard of say like Ulster Scots, that's that's kind of Dalrida is getting into that. Um Dalrida is also the, the first group that are generally referred to as Scots a lot of the time. So um, so that's where a lot of Scots or Scotland first kind of appears. Um, but then you also have the Kingdom of Alt Clute or the Kingdom of Strathclyde. Kind of depends on when you're talking. Um, the Kingdom of Strathclyde sort of appeared like officially as the Kingdom of Strathclyde in... Uh, What's wrong? Oh, that's what's wrong. <laughs> I was like, what have I done wrong here? <laughs> I've done this wrong. Um, the Kingdom of Strathclyde uh, appears kind of in like the 9th or 10th centuries, really. So by the late 7th century, we don't quite have the Kingdom of Strathclyde uh, in those terms. However, it was a kingdom, generally re referred to as Alt Clute. Um, because it was based at Altclute, which is another name for Dumbarton Rock. Dumbarton is about 20 minutes to the east slash, uh, not east, west slash northwest of Glasgow. Um, and Dumbarton Rock is a very large, uh, nope, I know how to, I know what I'm doing. I'm not distracted at all. Um, it, a very large sort of promontory or, or like hill slash rock that juts out into the River Clyde, um, which is the river that goes through Glasgow and then goes through a bunch of other towns, including Dumbarton, um, before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, so you have Dumbarton Rock, which has basically been the seat of a seat of power since like the fifth century, effectively. There was an early medieval um, fortress there, that's, that's, you know, especially in the late 7th century where I'm talking about Altklut, that's where their seat of power was. And then uh, as as we get even into, say, the, the 9th and 10th centuries when their power center moved to, um, moved to what is now called Govan, an area called Govan in Glasgow, um, Altklut still was a, a, a power center. Um, and uh, and then it was used in the medieval period. It was used in the the late medieval period, and so on and so forth. Like it's just been pretty much not. I don't want to say like well, it's kind of basically continual use. Um, and you can still see bits of some of the later builds at all, like structures today. Um, they're they're still there. They haven't gone anywhere. So uh, so if you end up in Scotland and you take. The train or, well, yeah, the train gives the best view, I would say. The roadway, you can kind of see it through some trees, but the train gives the best view of, of Dumbarton Rock. Um, but yeah, so that kingdom, Altclut or Kingdom of Strathclyde, they were a Welsh kingdom and they were connected through the what's called the Old North um, or the Regid, which is basically uh, north 
Western England these days. Um, also, the, the area is known as Cumbria. That is originally Welsh territory. Um, and, and Kingdom of, well, at the time they were called Britons. And that's where the Kingdom of the Britons comes from. Um, and you can see Britain, and I talked about Brythonic languages. Uh, and yeah, so that's, that's, so I actually, it, that means that I did remember it correctly earlier. Yes. Good. I was like, oh no, I feel like this is a pop quiz that I'm about to fail. Um, but yeah, so so that's that's Altclut. Um, but they're predominantly a Welsh kingdom. Um, and then in the southeastern part of Scotland, we don't actually have Scots uh, slash Dalriada. We don't have the Picts. We don't have Britons slash Altclut. We actually have Northumbrians, um, which are uh, a, a, um, a, a early English group from the northeastern part of England, and they actually also controlled basically all the way up to Edinburgh. Um, and, and actually, until the late seventh century, they even controlled further north into Fife and Angus. And then there was a very famous battle called the, well, okay, famous in Scotland, maybe, very famous battle called the Battle of Nechtensmeer, um, or, or the Battle of Denechton. And that uh, had nothing to do with Nechtin. There, King Nechtin was not involved. It was King Breedy the Third of the Picts versus King Egfrith of the Northumbrians. Um, and uh, I can spell those names, but um, you you might not want to ask me to. <laughs> you, you might you might regret it if you ask me to. Um, so so we have uh, King Egfrith and, and King Breedy the Third. And Egfrith uh, basically Breedy wanted to retake that territory of southern Pickland from Egfrith from the Northumbrians because they had controlled it for a while. And uh, is that spelled the same as Nova Scotia? Yes, it is absolutely the same. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so they, uh, fought and effectively, uh, Egfrith was doing pretty well or so he thought, um, and then Breedy actually retreated and, uh, he retreated to a part of the, the, his territory that he felt confident he could, uh, mount an attack from basically. And Egfrith just followed him thinking this guy is, you know, he's on his last legs. This army is about to disperse, you know, we're winning sort of thing. They followed him right in, and it was an ambush, basically, and uh, and so the Picts won the battle, and uh, and Egfrith was killed in the uh, in the ambush. So uh, so then Northumbria moved to a new king, and uh, and they lost the southern Pictish territories. It's not super clear that they necessarily controlled the southern Pictish territories, or whether the southern Pictish territories had to pay tribute to them. It kind of is debated. And again, since we don't have anything written down from the Picts about their own history. We can only really get at that from other people's perspectives. And obviously, um, other people's perspectives, while uh, well, potentially very helpful, can also be very biased in what they're what they're aiming to do. Okay, I forgot that I was doing so yeah, there's there's a whole donut tangent for you. <laughs> there's there's a donut tangent. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna have any way to really connect this to archaeology today. Um, but no, here we are. <laughs> We've got. I I can even go into the importance of cows in these societies, but uh, but that's up to you guys if you if you want to listen to me drone on about that. Hello, nervous here. Welcome on in. Egfrith is a brilliant name. Yes, there you go. Pops has spelled it for you. Mmm, donuts. I haven't had donuts in a really long time. Um. And I feel like that's a travesty. I feel like I should have donuts. Of course, I say this after my my parents have just visited, and and I have had like so much. Uh, because when when people are visiting, a lot of the time you end up like eating out and stuff. So like I I am not wanting for <laughs> for indulgent food um, this week at all. But uh, but yeah, I also haven't had donuts in a long time. Okay, all right. Well, you know, you guys volunteered to be in here, so um, I feel like. It's not my fault if you stay. Okay. So, let's do, I know that I need this. I'm looking, what did I get up to with my parents? Ah, so, uh, we, um, we hung around Glasgow the first day because they arrived like, not early in the morning, but at like 11 or so. So their flight from the States was a long one and they, they there was a child 
behind them who is kicking and screaming most of the way. So um, so they didn't get much sleep. So we kind of hung around Glasgow. Um, well, Glasgow area. I, I live near Glasgow. Um, so we hung around in this area. And then um, we went down to visit my in-laws um, in Ayrshire. And that was lovely. We st stayed overnight there. And then we did... Um, what did we do? We went to Edinburgh for Fringe. Um, for those who may not be familiar, there is a major arts festival that happens in Edinburgh in every August, um, and it lasts the whole month. It's it's the entire month of August, basically. Um, and that's called the Edinburgh Festival, and part of the Edinburgh Festival is Fringe, um, which is often called the Edinburgh Fringe or just called Fringe or the Fringe Festival. Um, that's all people mean the same thing when they use all of those terms. Um, so we went there and I had never been, even though I've lived here for like almost eight years, I just, uh, there was a while where I was too busy and then I was too ill and then I just, <laughs> so, uh, so we went to that and that was fun. We saw, um, a really good one, one man show, um, and the guy doing it, it was like the true story of his great uncle during World War II. It was recommended to us by somebody on the, on the train. And while I'm not sure that I would have necessarily recommended it to a family that was going for a visit to Edinburgh, um, it was a, an extremely well done show. Um, and, and I'm glad we saw it. So, uh, so yeah, so we did that. And then we came back, we were visiting uh, again in Glasgow for a little bit. Um, I was not sure I was gonna make that jump. <laughs> I thought I had missed it and I didn't and that's great. Um, we came back to Glasgow area-ish and uh, toured some, I have friends who garden and my dad is an avid gardener slash biologist. And so he was curious about the allotment system here. So um, in cities at least, um, there's a system where people can have effectively, well, have access to uh, spaces for gardening. Um, so it's it, kind of like a community gardens. Everybody has their own little space. Um, but in Glasgow, the wait list is like 10 to 12 years, like years. <laughs> it takes over a decade to uh, to get a spot in Glasgow, basically. Um, I should say I'm not exactly following a thing. I'm just putting these here. I'm, I'm, I know how to build this without creative mode. I drafted it in creative. I haven't I haven't tried building it outside of It's fine, although I do probably need my my crafting table up here with me, don't I? That's probably a thing. So anyway, so we were um we were visiting my friend's gardens and then we did a day trip. Um if you ever come to Scotland and you aren't able to get to like the Highlands terribly easily, like say you're based in Edinburgh or Glasgow and you're worried about having a day to be able to see the highlands sort of thing. Um, I highly recommend, uh, there are a number of really good touring companies, like little minibus tour companies, um, but I highly recommend any tour that is like Oban, Glencoe, and Inverary. Um, because because that's like, it's, it's still a lot of driving. It's gonna be like six hours of driving um, in your day. It's a lot, but it's broken up by stops. Um, and Inverary is a lovely place. Oban is a lovely place. Glencoe is amazing. Um, so it's it's probably, I would say, the best day trip that you can really do um, in... I want to hang on to those. Okay, all right. This, I'm, you know, I know what I'm doing. Um, it's, it's probably the best day trip you can do from central Scotland. Uh, there are ones that go to like Loch Ness and things, and, and those are fine. But I would say that they they can be like a lot more driving than actually looking around the places necessarily. So the the one that goes kind of like Oban, well, it goes Inverary, Oban, and then Glencoe, and then comes down um, back to for me the Glasgow area. Um, but they do also do things from Edinburgh as well. Excuse me. They do also a lot of those companies will have. Um, tours that are like multi-day tours and those can be really nice as well but uh but we didn't really have that kind of time let's see let's do like this many of these and then do this okay <laughs> you wish we had healthcare in the u.s i also wish that there were healthcare in the u.s you wish you had allotments in the u.s i know yeah they would be really nice one of the differences it, between the UK and, and the US is that in the UK, people tend not to own land. It's very rare for people to own the land that their house is on necessarily. A lot of the time, it's like, 
you have this on a 90 year loan from, you know, the Lord who actually owns it or potentially like the Royal family, but usually it's a Lord or, or somebody who, oh, I need a lot more of these, don't I? Um, one, let's, let's do those for now. Oh, no, no, no. let's just, <laughs> let's just, let's just bite the bullet and get eight of them because I probably need eight of them. Um, that's fine. We'll do this. Okay. All right. Let's move this. Let's move this. Okay. Um, but yeah, so people don't tend to own land, which isn't necessarily like, you may not think that that's that big of a deal, but, um, it does mean that, uh, there's, there's a lot more, uh, reason to have like community spaces because, because the majority of the country doesn't necessarily have it. Also the way that our towns and cities are organized, all of the houses are like, you have all of the houses together and then there's land around the houses. So um, even in a village, for example, a lot a lot of the time it, it'll feel more populated to an American. I say this as as an American living here. It may feel more populated than it is simply because all of the houses are right next to each other instead of being more spread out like they might in a in a more rural uh, American town, basically. But yeah, someday you'll travel places for fun. It'll happen, Clara. You can, you can travel to the UK and visit all of us in the UK. Going through the Durham allotments was your shortcut to lectures last year. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, a friend of mine has an allotment in, um, well, has a, a spot in an allotment in Glasgow that's a hundred over 150 years old. So it's really cool. And it was like originally the part of the city where they grew flowers and things. So it, it, there's, there's a lot of like unique history to that particular allotment style. Okay, I am probably gonna need to not distract myself. I say this, we all know how successful I usually am with that. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if it's possible for me to not distract myself, but I'm gonna do my best. Is this, hang on, wait a minute, because Wait a minute. I need to I need to look at a different screenshot. Hold on. I'm confused. Okay. That. Okay. All right. I'm good. It's fine. I know this design. I I'm not. It's I don't it's fine. Okay. So it's not actually this. This is going to be stairs. Which is going to be annoying to do. Ooh. Well, We'll figure out whatever I did on the sides when I look at whatever I did on the sides. Okay, so it's stairs. So um, here, let's do like, let's do this. And it's, cause it's backwards stairs. It's stairs pointing inwards. Um, so, and then this one goes here and then here. Then what's with this? So is this, this probably doesn't exist. If I'm honest, it's probably, it would make more sense if it's this. Because otherwise it would be weird for the stairs. I, I'm, I'm a functional human. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me swap. Oh, one hour ad break. Yes, we will do that. Okay. Ah, the sides are different. Okay, well we will adjust the sides. I will do the sides in a in a hot second. We'll 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 do this. Okay, let's um. Right, let me do. Let me just. Oh, it's fine. I know how to play this game. I'm a I'm a functional human. I I know what I'm doing. That's a, uh, probably. <laughs> I'm sure that's convincing. Oh, and I've just blocked off my. Yes. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I did do this right. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me get these pointed the way I want them to go. Well, you know, it's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. We're gonna. It's fine. And then we will do the the one hour ad break. Yeah. Okay. So, you still have a voucher for British Airways from a canceled trip 
Oh, that's cool. So you have to visit the UK next year somehow. Oh, that'd be cool, Johanna. Hello, Miche. Welcome on in. Um, we we are about to go on a, a quick five minute break um, to refresh water and uh, and also so I can run ads so that people coming in don't get hit by ads as soon as they try to uh, try to join the chat and uh, and also it's your reminder to take any medications that maybe you're supposed to take at whatever time of day this is for you um, that you may not have taken yet so uh, so do a medication check refill your water grab a snack and uh, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna yeah. We'll, we'll take a break. I will be back in five minutes. Um, and uh, and and then we'll we'll keep building this barn. <laughs> and hopefully it won't get as distra- Well, I say hopefully. I will try not to get as distracted so that we actually finish building the barn. But also, it, it's me, so who knows. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.
Welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a good break. Um, also, thank you, Moon, for that hydrate check. I also noticed that Robert's Kitsch redeemed one, like, ages ago. Um, so I'm very sorry I missed that one. I hope... It, 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 I, everybody take a drink. <laughs> You're probably thirsty. Almost certainly. Um, and also medication check, as per usual. I know I just said it, but I'll say it again, just in case anybody missed it. Um, if you take medications at this time of day for wherever you are and you haven't taken them yet, maybe, uh, maybe take those medications, because they probably help. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're gonna fix this, this bit. I did this bit wrong. Um, you know when I did it wrong before and I was like, oh, I messed up? Um, I, I didn't mess up. I was doing it right. Uh, I, it, it's fine. <laughs> so, so we're just gonna redo this. I'm gonna, because it goes to a central pole, because otherwise it looks weird. Um, it's, it's, the design makes sense. I promise it'll make sense once I do it. Are we already? It's okay. All right. Well, fine. We'll sleep first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like my brain was subconsciously being like, no, actually, this is the correct way to do it. And I was like, no, it's not. Um. So, yeah. So. Oh, except. It's possible that this is off by one. There's supposed to be one in the middle. See, like, this works. Could I just make it work like this? I probably could, right? So that I, so that I don't have to rebuild the whole thing. I could probably make it work. So originally what I was doing was, uh, no, I know which button I'm pushing. Okay. Originally it was like <laughs> these, like two of them next to each other and then a central pole so that the stairs go into the central pole. But would it be possible to go back <laughs> and do this? That I don't have to. Okay, this is gonna. It's fine. It's all fine. I have food. It's good. It's fine. Um. So. So if I did like the. Uh, not that. Okay. Hold on. It's fine. Oh. I'm doing so well today. It's I. It's. The thing is, is that it then doesn't. Here. Does that? Yeah. There we go. Um. It doesn't. Uh, what am I? Okay, I think I need all of the stairs to be able to envision what this is gonna be. And whether I like it more than the original plan, which, uh... I may be throwing out the window, or I might not. I might tear all of this down. <laughs> it's only the sides, well, and also the back. Because I would need to move the whole back. It's, uh... I forgot that I needed to be up in order to do this. So, you know, it's, I am a functional human. Look, if I say it enough, it's gotta be true, right? That's, that's my, that's my theory with it, at least. I'm manifesting. Um, okay. Okay, so, do, where's my bed? Aw, oh, I hit the edge. I thought I was gonna go too far and then I didn't go far enough. Um. So, could do that with the, with the, with this, and then the, um, yeah, hold on. I'm, I can speak. I'm articulate. I, yep. <laughs> um, so if we do this, is that worth it? Does it throw the design off? Actually, that looks kind of okay. I feel like that's a much easier... Hmm, it does look a little weird. What about... Uh, no, because then it just continues. It's cool. Yeah. You guys don't necessarily... Haven't seen the original design. 
But I do kind of like the more, oh, mm, no, cause it. Will it also destroy my plan for a door on the inside to let house out? Cause it can't go there. Whereas before it would have been able to go right here. Yeah, no, okay, I need to take this all down. Fine, it's all fine, everything's fine. It's all fine. Um, it's actually only this bit. It's, uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're just gonna undo half of the work I did. This is, this is why being distracted about early medieval archeology span is not the best. I mean, I say that, this would have happened anyway. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> this this would have happened anyway. This has not. It has not. It's not affected by me talking about the picks. This would have happened anyway. Okay. All right. Let's let's just move all of this and we move. Um. Here. Let's also do this. Sure. Do that. The, do. I mean, I didn't need to remove that one, but oh well, it's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. See you later, Artisy. Oh, I'm sorry about the horrible sleep schedule, but absolutely go take a nap. <laughs> absolutely go take a nap. Hello, Blast Jordan. Did I did I miss you coming in? At what? I must have missed you coming in. Hello. I'm sorry that I totally missed you arriving. <laughs> Hello. Welcome on in. It's good to see you. Um, again, I'm very sorry. I totally, I totally failed to, uh, to block you entering the chat. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're building a barn that I totally have a plan for, and I built the plan wrong because I got distracted. Well, also because I'm me. <laughs> so, so this was there was a high chance of this happening regardless. But, uh, but yeah. It, it, it's all fine. Everything's fine. It's it's all good. It's, it's all it's all fine. Everything it's it's it, you know <laughs> it's it's so annoying that it's one block off. That's so sad. So sad. It's okay. I'm so sorry I missed you coming in. Um okay. All right. We're going to we're going to just we're going to just do this and do this before any cows get any ideas because that would be a problem. Okay, all right, we, we'll, we'll, it'll, it's fine. I can probably fix this relatively quickly, maybe. Um, okay, and then, and then we do that. No, 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 no. I love how I say I can fix this relatively quickly and I immediately make a mistake. It's great, <laughs> it's wonderful. Okay, um, I kinda need, okay, all right. I was gonna kind of wait on the rest of this wall, but I kinda need the rest of this wall actually to be able to do this easily, which is fine. I have the birch wood for it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're gonna do this, and this, and that, and these. Let's do that, and this, and that. And I am gonna make this, um, this, this, so, uh, oh, no, hang on. Something you guys might be aware of or might not be aware of is that I have I have like a whole bunch of different membership options, different really just options for people if they want to support the channel monetarily. There's never any pressure to do that. So I'm very grateful to everyone who does. I'm also very grateful just to everybody who tunes in and chats and watches and comments, etc. So like, please don't ever feel pressured to, especially with things. Oh, this is incorrect. This is incorrect. I did this wrong. I got distracted. But anyway, um, I have a number of membership options, basically. So there's, you could be a member on YouTube now, which is a very recent uh, thing, which is cool. Um, you can also be a member on, it's wrong. Is it too, or did... Oh, this is the back. That'll be why. It's the that'll be why. It's the back. It's okay. <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing. I promise. 
I'm gonna, no, I don't. Um, but anyway, you can be a member on YouTube. You can also be a member on Kofi. And on Kofi, um, the part of the memberships, or at least from like five pounds or higher, um, I make schematics of my builds available for people, which you might find interesting, or you might, like, there's a reason that I give everybody options. Um, but if that sounds interesting to you, or like something you're interested in, you can do, uh, have a look at uh, my Kofi memberships as well, because this will be, uh, okay, hopefully that works. Yeah, there we go. Um, this, this build will be, uh, the schematic will be on there. Um, once, once I actually build it correctly, <laughs> I should probably wait until it's actually successfully built before I, uh, let you guys know that that's a, a possibility because you might be like, Arcuplace, that's great, but we don't know what it looks like yet because you keep screwing up. So <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. All right. We're going to, we'll, we'll redo the side in just a second. It's going to, it'll, it'll make sense. It'll all make sense. Once, once we get it, it's, there will be a completed barn. It's probably only going to be the one barn rather than two barns <laughs> because apparently that's all I can be trusted with. <laughs> Um, but we'll do this side first, and then we'll do the other side. Um. And this, and this, and then this, nope. There we go. And then there's one in the middle. It hasn't taken me three in-game days to fix my mistake. Not at all. It's, uh, I... <laughs> It's all fine. Okay. I was hearing what I'm assuming was the wandering trader disappearing, but it sounded like an Enderman almost <laughs> to me, which granted is a very similar noise, if not the same noise. I'm not actually, I'm genuinely not sure, but uh, it freaked me out a little. It's like, please don't let there be an Enderman here <laughs> that I need to work around. Um, okay. All right. And then we do this. Oh, and I need more stairs. That's fine. We'll get more stairs. No. Stop. <laughs> gonna, gonna, there we go. All right. Oop. Thank you so much, Ta Chase Tommy T. Chase Tommy T. I'm sorry, I've, I know I've butchered your name in at least one of those, but thank you so much for redeeming Hydrate. Everybody take a drink. You are almost certainly thirsty for some reason that, yeah, I. The sound isn't working for me either, and I'm not sure why. So hold on just a second. Let me see. Um, Cause I noticed that with the other ones that I didn't hear them. Uh, let me see. Advanced audio properties. You wanna, you wanna give me... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It'd be nice if it could, <laughs> if it could scroll down. That would be helpful. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. Uh, let me attempt one. So it's saying that it's doing that. Like, it, the, for some, did you guys hear that? Because on OBS, in the audio stuff, it worked for you guys. You can hear it. I can't hear it. So, uh, so that's weird. Um, I would love to be able to hear it. I wonder, oh, is it? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do this just now, not because, um, well, if I can do it quickly, I'll do it just now. If I can't do it quickly, I will uh, I will change it. But I think it's doing something. I'm gonna... Okay. Something's weird. That's fine. I will try to keep an eye on the redemptions, but I'm glad that you guys can hear it. So that's good. That's that's the hi, Ms. Halcyon. Welcome on in. Um, yeah. So every, anyway, everybody take a drink because you're probably thirsty. Also, this is your reminder that if you're supposed to take medications at this time of day, um, you you should if you haven't already. And I'm so sorry to hear that you have COVID, Chase Tom Tommy, because. Um, I, I recently had COVID as well, and it was terrible, and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So I hope that you're doing okay and uh, resting and staying relatively hydrated. And I hope that this uh, at least provides some entertainment while you're kind of 
stuck, locked away from the rest of the world for a bit. Ms. Halcyon, we've been building a barn and I've gotten it wrong like seven different times. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we're learning is um, that Archeoplays struggles to build things without getting distracted and or getting details wrong. Um, I think that's I think that's what we've learned, right? That's that's what I've learned, I feel. I am actually a competent Minecraft builder. I do know what I'm doing. This this stream is uh not really providing evidence for that, but you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. Okay, so we've got this side. All right. So that's what this is what this is what this side is. Okay, and then the stairs will come through to this central pillar and then they meet at the central pillar and that's that's why that's why that was important. Um, there won't be stairs on this side, don't I mean there will be, but in different ways. Uh, and then we gotta redo this whole bit. Well not the whole bit, but a lot of the bit. This and this and this. Oh, and I'll need one more set of stairs. I couldn't remember if I had all of them for this side or if I needed one more set, but I need one more set. Which is fine. That, and then it'll. Oh, and we also need to move this as well. It's true. I was like, why doesn't it line up? Because this side is not. I shouldn't be paying attention to this. Oh, no! That's fine. None of them are enchanted. I do need to go, like, iron gathering soon. Um, okay, we'll, we'll figure out the middle in a second. All right, this. In fact, here, this, 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 and then we have, that'll be the middle. Okay. Except I don't have an axe. <laughs> we'll do that in a second. Let me, let me just do this. Okay. All right. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. It's fine. Okay. Cool. Let's let I'm going to build a new axe, craft a new axe. I My brain is working today. <laughs> I was saying Ms. Halcyon that I woke up at like 2 a.m. and that we ran into each other in Paleo and I totally didn't realize it, it you were there and trying to talk to me and I felt really badly about <laughs> about like totally ghosting you and running away and uh and such. And uh so we're going to we're going to make a Paleo channel on the Discord so that people can like meet up and what I might do is even put in um, on the Discord, I might even put in like a voice chat so that people could hang out um, while playing if they wanted to. Um, if that sounds like a cool thing that you guys would be interested in, no pressure if not. Um, but uh, I think Paleo is a very cooperative game, so um, so it could be fun to do cooperative stuff. Um, also, one of the things for memberships on YouTube, so this is one difference between YouTube and Kofi. Um, I'm debating bringing it to the Kofi memberships as well, but I, I kind of want to see how it works with the YouTube ones first. Um, but the Kofi memberships on, oh. The Kofi memberships on YouTube, no, the memberships on YouTube, not the Kofi memberships on YouTube, the memberships on YouTube, um, there is the possibility of doing uh, members only streams where I'm going to stream games that I don't normally like that isn't Minecraft. Um, so we could play Paleo, I could play Stardew Valley or a bunch of other cozy games that I really enjoy and that you guys might not have heard of. Um, so basically that's that's an option for memberships on YouTube. Again, I might bring them to the Kofi memberships as well, um, but I, I kind of want to work out the kinks first with one platform before I <laughs> before I expand it to another platform. Um, but that is a possibility as a thing. As always, as I said, there is absolutely no uh, pressure at all. I probably need way more than two, don't I? Oh, wait, is it stairs that I need? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do the sensible thing that I should have done ages ago and uh, and just bring this over with me because that would be smart. That would, be, that would be the intelligent way to do stuff. Uh, here we go. Boing. Ah, oh, either landed on the edge or it was too far for the bed. It's fine. Oh no, I did need trapdoor. Okay, all right. I just. It's fine. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. I promise. I'm a seasoned Minecraft player. I've been playing for years. Uh, not making silly mistakes. I promise. It's all fine. Everything's fine. 
there we go. Okay, so that's what the side is supposed to look like, except that this needs to be um, a stair going, well, this one needs to be a stair going inwards. Um, and then the reason that's important is because on the other side, over here, if we, uh, here, hmm. if we, I'm not gonna cut out the full door because they're still in here, but um, if I cut out this bit, right? Then we can we can have a little way for cows to get out into the pasture that lines up with one of these panels. That's it was a smart design. There was intelligence in the design. I just um it just <laughs> I just built it wrong like four separate times. <laughs> but uh but yeah, thank you so much for the follow nervous here. I'm sorry I didn't yeah, for some reason that sound isn't working for me either and I'm not entirely sure what is, what that is or why because I'm hearing other things in my in my headphones so I, I'll have to look into it after stream where did I put oh I okay all right, I kept the crafting table because you know I was like I'll be smart and keep the crafting table on me and then I immediately forgot that I kept the crafting table on me it's fine everything's fine all good it's you know <laughs> I'm a I'm I'm I was about to say I'm a smart person I'm a person but that's not saying much, in all honesty. Uh, that's good. So uh, I meant to. Let's let's go the easy way. Let's not demonstrate my lack of uh, solid movement skills in Minecraft. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to do that. Okay. All right. So we're getting there. We're almost there. Okay. This I need to take out, and then we're gonna actually work on the other floor of this barn. Just basically like the roof, but there's also a hayloft involved, so uh so we're gonna we're gonna do that as well. Okay, and then we do uh this and uh that, but we're also gonna need one here. Your list. And then this and that and one, two. Three. I have one more stair. Oh no, I need this one. Cool. I should have. It's. I. You know, it's fine. Uh. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I. Yep. I'm not. Look. <laughs> it is a good build once I actually build it properly. It's. It's a. It's a pretty decent build. Probably just an OBS change. Yeah, but I tried it this morning and it worked fine this morning. That's what's weird. Sounds fine on that end. Audio is hard. Yeah, I'm glad that you guys can hear it. So that's that's helpful. Um, I think uh, I think it's just for some reason. Uh, sometimes it happens where it just decides that it's not gonna it's not gonna um, play by the rules because it's OBS and why would it? Um, okay, so we now have the base level done. <laughs> It only took way longer than it should have. Um, this bit, in terms of the back, I will deal with afterwards because that requires pulling up a different screenshot. And so um, I'm, I'm going to get this done first. But we should be able, theoretically, to build... Theoretically. Okay, so would help if I had stairs and also if I had my crafting table. <laughs> Good. I wish, so in modded Minecraft, there are a lot of uh, mod packs that have a portable crafting table. And I really wish that we had a, a portable crafting table. Like I know it's portable where you can like pick it up and move it and everything. Oh, well, yeah. Um, but, uh, but I would love to be able to just have a tool in my hand that I click and that's the crafting table. That would be fantastic. And I want it. And uh, it should happen, I feel like. Because that would be so much easier. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, so, I'm so bad at remembering where my crafting tables are. This is why I have like eight of them around my base. There, uh, I was going to say there aren't that many, but actually there probably are at least eight in that house somewhere. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay. All right. So we do this and then we do... Oh, right. I've done the... I've done the smart thing of lock myself in. Okay, and then we go up by one. And then I'll go up by another one and do this. 
then we'll here let's grab a couple actually let's just do this because you can never have enough spruce planks up by one and then over one and up and then over right or might be it Up, up. That's a stair. That's a block. That's a stair. Then it's two. Okay. And then it'll be a stair. So up and stair. Up and then stair. That didn't work out. What did I do differently? There, oh, actually like this. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's probably fine. Okay, up, what am I doing? Up and then stare, up, stare, up, up. Okay, so, there. Ah. I see what I did. I I see what I did. This is a tall barn. Could fit a couple of giraffes. <laughs> the portable crafting table in slime fun is so useful. Portable crafting tables in general, I just I just like them as a as a concept in games in general. Like if every game could give me a like every game that requires a crafting table, if it could give me a portable one, that would be great. <laughs> I would love a portable. Oh no, come on. There we go. Um, I would love a portable crafting table in pretty much every game. Okay, so then we do this, and then we do this. I just, I had it up by one. That was the mistake. It's fine. I can math sometimes. All right, so that's that. And then we have dark oak stuff happening, which is gonna be interesting. Am I gonna be able to do this easily? <laughs> This is a good question. One, two, three. Okay, I need some gates, and then I need some stairs, and then I need some blocks. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Okay, so fence gates. This is not a fence gate. This is a fence gate. I need two of them. I forget. I wish that the fence gate recipe gave you more than one. Just saying. I wish I wish a lot of the wood recipes gave you more than what they give you, but uh, but especially fence gates and trap doors, those two things. I really wish they gave you more than they do. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I'll need more. Okay, all right, let's just grab a few more of these. That's fine. We're getting rid of the spruce because we're not doing spruce just now. And let's see if I am able to do this. Okay. So, because this is also coming out by one. So I'm gonna do this as placeholder, doing this. Um, and then we're gonna do this and then block. Okay, all right, this is, this is my usual, this is fine. This is my usual roof <laughs> that I like to do. Um, this and then, what did I do? Um, that oh right okay it goes it goes like this and then it goes like this okay <laughs> I was like what am I what am I looking at here um and then I'll have to go down here for this to make sense this here and then up one there and then here here and then this? I believe that's what it's supposed to be. Here, let's have a look. Hey, I didn't miss the bed that time. Yeah, that's that's it, basically. It's I, I'm realizing that we're never really going to get a super clear view of this, but, you know, that's basically the goal. Okay, cool. That's the front. Okay. 
Plus, there will be like a hayloft and some grindstones and some stuff, but uh, but let's let's get the structure built first. Let's uh, let's actually build the structure. Here, this is not gonna work as a path anymore. Okay, um, and then there is cherry wood for the roof. Let's let's maybe do this first. You love the recipe adjustments from Vanilla Tweaks? Yeah, there's some irony in the fact the biggest barn you've built has been an infinite miner where there are no animals. <laughs> I I like, yeah, I didn't used to build barns terribly big. Um, and then then I realized that, uh, ooh, that's a good question. Is it birch wood behind the stairs? It is, okay. Um, I didn't used to build animal spaces terribly large. And then I was like, well, they need somewhere for them to like to eat and then they need somewhere to uh to like sleep and then a hayloft would be nice because i don't feel like building a whole other building just to store hay <laughs> personally i don't feel like building a barn instead of a buyer um yeah uh so uh so so this is this is how it's gone but yeah a lot of i I don't know. I always I always build too small in Minecraft as well. Um, like perpetually, I build too small, and so I'm trying to not build so small anymore <laughs> because because uh, because I'm perpetually building too small. Um, okay, let's do this. This. All right, and then there's this whole wall that is well. It's you know we'll get there. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. We'll do the back eventually. It'll it'll happen. Something will happen at least. Okay. All right. This. Maybe uh maybe move the crafting table. You've been missing the more trap doors one recently when you were building an Arceo SMP. Six planks for two trap doors is too expensive. I agree. Um. And that is something that we could work into Arc USMP if people want it, actually. It's it's one of those where, like, I try to keep my stuff vanilla, not because I'm particularly wedded to vanilla specifically, but because I like people having the uh, the possibility of... Um, uh, what am I saying? I like people having the possibility of being able to do it in their own worlds as well. Um, ooh, those are stairs. Okay, so... This doesn't here then because that would have to be okay so these ones really hang on while i consult my my screenshot hmm okay well uh no actually this this is no, not that. Aw, oh, man. That. Hold on. This goes here. We'll figure this out in a second. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do. Uh, it'll, it'll work out. Oh, well, you know, that's one way for it to <laughs> resolve itself, <laughs> or for me to get down to go to sleep. <laughs> you do feel like anytime you try to build big, it just makes your small ideals look more plain. Yeah, I, I've been trying to build bigger so that the, like, mostly to start with, like, the indoor space rather than the outdoor, pl like, my brain always thinks of the outdoor plan first, and it's like, okay, actually, let's, what size of a barn am I actually aiming for? Um, and that helps to a degree, but I'm still not great at it. I, it's, yeah, this, the, which I think is one reason why I really like the, the sort of thicker detail stuff because it feels like it reminds me to use more of the to build bigger basically <laughs> is uh which is not did we fix this side why did i go over to Oh no. Okay. All right. I it's uh, it's my brain just seeing things that aren't actually there. It's fine. Um let's do this for now. Okay. So, we've got that and then here. Let's uh going to need to do 
going to need to do the roof again, aren't we? So we need to do this and then this and then okay, here. Let's get this roof organized and settled. Hmm. Trying to figure out how many stairs I need so that I don't waste <laughs> waste wood on it. Um, yeah, the stair recipe, I feel like I mean, stairs are are okay. I would I really just want like a a, a tool that is similar to the um the what is it? The stone cutter, but for wood, if we could get like a a table saw. <laughs> that would be really cool. A table saw would be great. Um this and then it goes 1 and 2 and then back down. Uh This and then nope, that's not correct. Oh well, <laughs> we'll uh, get it maybe, or we won't. It might uh, disappear forever. We'll find out. Okay, let me get a few more stairs. Yeah, I do need a few of these planks to build the roof. This and then this. I need more stairs, probably. Four is not enough. <laughs> Four is one too few. Because it's the one that fell. Because because one fell. This one. Silly stair. Okay, where is that? It goes up. All right, well, it's, it's fine. We'll go this way. It's all fine. Everything's fine. I mean, admittedly, I haven't messed up the build um, worse worse than I did <laughs> the, the very first time I was building it. So you know, it's we haven't it, it's it's uh, it's getting better. Ugh. Let's not fall off accidentally. Okay, and then this needs to come down. Then I need to build the same thing. Oh, I need more. Okay. I need more spruce stairs. Hold on. Hold on. Three, four. Um, let's do this. Uh, that's probably enough. Those probably. I mean, we probably don't need exactly this many, but whatever. <laughs> it saves me coming back. Okay. Um, so we have this, and then it goes up by one. Then we have this, and. That goes up by one. And then we do this, which then goes into this, two, three, four, and then back down here. Uh, stair? Yeah, that should have worked, probably. Oh, no, there's no, that's not. No. It's uh, it goes up and then another, up and then over and then up, and then do a stair here. Okay, so I definitely didn't need that many stairs, but it's fine. It works. Okay, all right. And then we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna actually take this wall down, and then we'll use that to finish the bit on the roof. And I know I normally end around three. I'm gonna go until the barn is done. <laughs> It hopefully won't take that much longer, but uh, but we'll see. I but we're we're just on the roof phase, and then it's like the inside, and the inside is pretty easy. There's not much to the inside. Careful, cow! I don't want to hit you. I mean, there is stuff on the inside, but it's not like it's not complicated. I say this. Watch me still mess it up. <laughs> From, from the original design. I didn't actually take pictures of the inside, so, uh, so you know, it's fine. But I generally know what I do on the inside of, of barns and such. Okay, let's do the roof. This. Okay, so. I do wish, I like the directionality of logs. Also, I'm a pretty big fan of the, uh, the noise that cherry logs make. 
just a good noise. It's a really good noise. Um, but I wish that there were a faster way to, no, faster way to place logs in the direction that you want them to go. <laughs> I, I like the directionality until the directionality gets in my way and then I don't like the directionality as much. I can do it exactly. It's not, there's not too much left. Here, let me, let me just make sure. There we go. Okay. Do like one. Then, probably gonna need a few more uh, logs. That's fine. Full thing here. I am gonna strip the the purple as well. Don't worry. I should also put this here. Okay, let's strip this purple while we're here into pink. Let's hope that I can't accidentally target a different log and end up uh, accidentally stripping like my spruce or my dark oak or something. I guess I haven't put dark oak logs down. Okay, so we've got that and then we're gonna do this. Everybody stretch. Thank you for the stretch, Redeem Moon. You've probably been sitting for too long. I know I have. And also, Dragon, I promise, if you're still here, I promise I will eat. I've just noticed <laughs> that I probably need to eat uh, in game, I should say. Um, feel free to get up and stretch as well. I tend not to for people who might be a little new. Um, I, I have, my hip doesn't like to behave. So about like 50% of the time I stand up, my hip is just like, nah. So, uh, so I tend not to do that on stream just in case that happens. But, uh, but feel free to stretch in whatever way feels comfortable for you. You're here, you're lurking. Okay, I'm, I'm doing, okay, well, hold on, hang on. I was, I was doing this and then I was going to eat and then I needed more. All right, there we go. I'm eating. <laughs> I love that all that damage is just me missing the bed as I jump down or just like not worrying about it. I need feather falling really is, is what I need, but, um, I am a little ways away from enchanting at this point. Um, here, this requires stairs, which I don't currently easily. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Probably too many stairs, but planks. Actually, probably, probably not that many. Yeah, that's the right amount. Because eight wouldn't have made it. All right. Okay. Go. And off. Leave the rest. Okay. that off. And now we've run out of cherry wood. It's fine. I have more in my chest. I have, uh, when I was ill, I was doing a lot of tree farming because I was like, I don't know what the build I'm going to do is, but I should make sure I have all the types of wood for it. Um, yeah, cool. All right. Uh, let me get the chair. Oh, nope, that's not the right heat. It's fine. I'm I'm a functional. Okay, we don't need two stacks of this, but let's grab some more of this. Let's sleep. Pep talk. There, got a pep talk. Those who might be new. Um, I have these little. Okay, there's there's this like thing called therapets, and it's like 64 emotional support animal cards. Look, it's motivational um quotes or like sentences with uh, with cute little animals. So hang on, let me let me switch to to chatting. Okay. So uh so you can redeem one of these if you're well, really just if you want one, but also if you're having a rough day and you feel like a small creature um telling you that you can do it is uh is something that would help you feel better. 
Um, they're they're adorable and they're cute and they're uh, they're really nice art. I think there are a couple of different like decks or maybe I don't know. This artist has done a few things with these animals, but uh, but let me okay. All right, I've shuffled and. Okay, it's this one, little cat, and it says, you are doing enough. It's going to be okay. Here, let me, here where you can actually see. And it's a cute little galaxy cat. So there you go. Who wouldn't want cute animals being nice to you? Exactly. So, um, so yeah, I, I enjoy it. There's like, there's also this one that's whatever you do today will be enough. It's a cute little, happy little doggy. And then some of them are like, you know, like otters and unicorns and all kinds of stuff. And some of them I've never even seen yet. Like, I, I haven't actually seen all of these. <laughs> some where I'm like, oh, that's a card I've not seen before. So, uh, so yeah. You love that color of magenta? Yeah, it's so good. Um, if you want, I can send you a photo in Discord if you'd like. I'll, I'll keep that card out and I can DM it to you if you want. That was a much needed pep talk for sure. I know, right? You're doing enough. It's going to be okay. Um, I also like that it's a cat because cats literally just kind of, oh, you can, sorry, apologies for the glare. Um, Cause cats literally just kind of do their own thing and they're like, yeah, I don't really, don't really care too much about what other people think. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a good, a good animal for, for that pep talk as well. Okay, let's, let me, yes, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll DM it to you after stream. Here, let me go back to, let me, hang on, wait a minute. Let me go back to, go back to Minecraft. Okay, so let's get this roof done. The roof is nearly there, very nearly there. And then it should just be largely the inside. Okay, all right, well, you know, I'm realizing that I have, uh, I have done this, <laughs> which means that I can't uh, easily get up onto the roof. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. All right. Okay. Do this. And then, and then it is also like, I do also need to do the hayloft. And in fact, here, let's do, I know I just moved all of this birch wood, but let's actually birch wood. There will be, there is going to be a hayloft somewhere, but let me, uh, do it this way first. And then we can, we can take out birch wood if we need to, but, um, or where we need to really. Oh, not that's not meant. But uh, for now, let's make it just I like this works, right? I think that's yeah, yeah. Four or five in the middle. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Now we're now we're cooking. We got we got this is this is working. It works. There we go. Okay, we have a structure. Um, I don't think I've... Aw, oh, man. Keep hitting the edge. <laughs> okay. We are gonna need to do the back. I will do that. Should I? Hmm. We also have this bit. I'll do... You know what? Let me do the inside because I feel like once I do the inside, it's gonna be easier. And also because it's very dark in here. So let's maybe, you know, put a torch down. Let's just make sure <laughs> I know the lighting level stuff has changed but let's let's just be absolutely sure that uh, that we're not gonna get any um any oh I need so many trapdoors how many trapdoors do I need I need so many uh probably more than that <laughs> because I'm making a hayloft and I like my hayloft to be, let's put it like there. We do it there, maybe. Um, I like haylofts to be. Uh, what am I saying? To be in the nope, and kind of uh, as trap doors because it looks more like the rickety kind of <laughs> kind of boards that are often used for haylofts. Um, I also like to have haylofts in my barn builds because, uh, because again, I don't feel like building, uh, building a totally separate building for hay. Um, and logistically, there has to be somewhere that you keep the hay. Um, 
Let's see. Okay, I need one more trapdoor. Wonderful. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that I used an even number of trapdoors. This is, this is, yep, mm hmm. Beautiful planning. Um, I need only one because the ladder is gonna go here. Okay, so let me do, let me get a ladder. Can I get away with four ladders? Should be able to, right? One, two. Oh, look, perfect. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay, and now we've got a hayloft. And then what I want to do is cut out this bit for the window for the hay to come in. So the way that haylofts work, just in case you, you aren't aware or haven't necessarily seen it before, there's usually like a pulley system over a very large window that's up on, on the top of a barn or, or something like that. And then there'll be ropes that go down. So you can basically uh, hook the ropes into a hay bale and then pull it up. Uh, somebody who is standing here will then pull the pull on the rope to bring the hay through the window and then stack it here. I don't have enough wheat to make an, a bunch of hay bales in here, but you know what? We can, uh, can, where did I, I put that down on the ground, didn't I? I'm, I'm smart and efficient. No, I'm not, but sure. Uh, I need one more. Yeah, because we need, I'm going to use some trap doors, um, some cherry trap doors for the hay loft. And then let's see, how many of these can I make? Still have some hay. Five is not bad. Five is better than I thought it would be. And then let's make, you know, like, not make quite that many chests, but let's make a couple of chests. And then we can also make a barrel. I don't quite have enough planks to make slapdash <laughs> barrel with everything, but that's fine. Uh, here, we'll do this, and this, this, and then this. Let's make a barrel. Okay. Also, don't light an actual torch in a hayloft, because that would be bad. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> flammable things. Uh, don't go well in a hayloft. Okay, all right, and then let's do like one there. And uh, we'll, we'll fill this out as I get more resources, maybe. Or I might not. Who knows? It's it's not that much hay for the number of cows that I currently have. <laughs> it's Actually, I'm also going to need one of these. Hold on. I need... Do I need one or do I need two? I need two. Look, <laughs> it's, we'll have more hay eventually. <laughs> it'll uh, it'll happen. Um, do I... Where's... Okay, I need some trapdoors, some more trapdoors, more spruce trapdoors. Let's just do this. Just do fire tick off IRL. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just, uh, um, yes. Just, just enter game codes <laughs> IRL. Uh, okay. If you, if I, this is something I always forget. If I have a trap door and then I get rid of the thing. Okay. The door, because doors don't. And I always forget if trap doors do. I kind of want to make this like coarse dirt eventually. Um, I'm probably not going to do that a day though. Well, no. I did pick block, forgetting that I don't have uh, I don't have silk touch. Now, if you could please move from here. Thanks. Wonderful. Excellent. No. <laughs> what is with you guys? Come on. Thank you. Get out of there. Okay. Because, because we gotta, we gotta make, nope, hello. We gotta make a feeding trough. And then we also need like some, some water uh, trough. Let's do, I could put a water trough like over here, but actually I can also, you can also connect it to this. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. Um, I do only have one bucket, so this might take a bit. And I was gonna put, I was going to put like a little bit with hay over here so that there's like a little uh, little zone that they can chill out. And then this is going to be the exit to the outside, basically. But I won't do the exit to the outside right now because I don't have a fence that is holding them in. And that would be a problem. Let's let's get these up. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
All right, let's see how this looks from the outside. How we doing? I do need grindstones up at the top. But otherwise, I think we're getting close to what my trapdoors <laughs> used to a long time ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. To, yeah, I think that's what my brain is remembering is that trapdoors. Oh, oh, sorry. That was sorry. I thought I had alt tabbed and I clearly hadn't. Um, I think that's what oh, my brain keeps remembering and then it's not the case anymore. And so, OK, I need a couple of grindstones. I do have some of this. I have some iron. Um, I'll need some slabs, though, won't I? Uh, this and then grindstone. Give me two of them. And then we'll do... I also had this for some chains. Also, I wish that the chain recipe gave you more than one. Um, because I feel like it's already expensive. It should give you more than one. Um, oh, no, hang on. Give me two. This gives me three. If I do, mm, I might just leave it at that so that I can then do a couple of lanterns. Although I'm gonna need more than two lanterns, aren't I? Probably. Almost certainly. Here, let's also do some fences. I need a bunch of these. Well, okay. I say a bunch. At least six. <laughs> Which feels like a bunch in uh, in in fence terms when you're not specifically building a fence. Okay, and then let's do this and this and let's sleep that we don't have a creeper blowing up the barn because that would be bad. It's pretty, thank you, I'm glad. Iron needs to be rebalanced as well. It's so hard to do anything with no iron farms. Yes, I uh, I don't really use an iron farm, but it's yeah, it means that iron is continually a precious resource, um, relatively speaking. <laughs> it's, I really I really wish that, they, uh, that we could rebalance iron a little bit. Uh, let me just do this actually, because I'm gonna need four. And then, actually, well, let me let me do okay. All right, five. Let me do four more. I might not need all four, but I like the idea. So I had, um, in creative mode, you can put pretty much anything down and it works. <laughs> so, so I don't really have all of the the things in creative mode. Could I? Oh no, I just put, okay, I just put dirt there. That's fine, that works, that's that's okay. So long as I haven't lost the iron ax that I just made. Um, and then if we do, ooh. Okay, I see what I'm doing and I see how I have failed to, uh, <laughs> to prepare for what I need to do here. Okay, we're doing this, and then we're gonna get rid of, nope. do this and then uh the slabs and then we're gonna do the grindstones and then we're gonna do nope hang on one and then one and two so that you've got the the ropes coming down yeah there we go oh and the one thing that i have had in my inventory this whole time that i made ages ago but haven't used yet is these dark oh, fence gates, which you can put underneath the eaves of a house to make them look, you know, like semi supported. Here, let's get, I mean, I know this is significantly lower down, but here, I mean, let me, let me build a tower. <laughs> let me get a bit, a better, a better view of this. There we go. Isn't it cute? I like it. I like the design. The, the one thing that I've noticed is that, like, because of the roof design, you can't easily see the color of the roof from the front, but I don't know that that's a bad thing, necessarily. It's a, I'm, it's, I'm playing with it. Playing with the style. Okay, all right, so. The sides should be more or less done. Um, I do actually need my axe now. <laughs> uh, there we go. 
because the roof is more or less done. Actually, I'm going to take this down as well because I don't need to get up that direction. Uh, let me grab this because we do need to get up in the back. We're almost done. I promise. We're almost done. Okay. Um, question becomes, what did I do with the back? Did I do anything with the back? Oh, no, I did. All right. Okay. All right. That's, yeah. This is fine. This is easy. This is like 12 more blocks to place. <laughs> so actually, we're a lot closer, a lot closer to being done than I thought we were. Um, okay. So I'm going to do a couple more trap doors. I need or I continually underestimate how many trapdoors I'm going to get for the number of planks that I put in because it's absurd. <laughs> it's robbery. <laughs> um, and uh, and then uh, I need some cherry trapdoors. You know what? We're just going to do this. I need four of them. And then I need slabs like that and I need some slabs here. Oh, I already had some. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, I I will use <laughs> dark oak slabs is a thing that I will definitely uh, will definitely use in the future. Okay, all right. Do this. Okay, so slab, slab. So this is the same kind of slab design here up to the same kind of window, basically. I was not aware that cows could climb ladders. I feel like I should have been able to predict that, but I don't know that I've ever, in all of the time that I have spent making uh, haylofts, I've never had a cow go up into the top of the hayloft. <laughs> um, look, it's fine. If the cow has a dream to be Spider-Man, then who am I to stand in their way? All right, here we go. And we have this, and we do this, and then we do this. That's the same, basically the same little window. Okay, all right. And then I believe that that means we're basically done. There's a little bit, I'll, I'll find some gravel and such to do like some coarse dirt stuff. Um, and I probably should put lanterns around the, oh, I'm missing trap doors. Hold on, <laughs> there's, there's a bit where I totally missed. Another way for items to move inventories would be nice. Yes, I agree. I very much agree. More options for user interface stuff would be great. Um, that needs three. One short. That's sad. Do I have one of these up? Okay. No, no, that's fine. I was like, is that correct? But no, it is correct. It's fine. Um, do I have one of these on that side, though? the question. I don't remember, and I will check in just a minute. <laughs> okay, I should check while I'm at the, like, making stuff phase. I don't have one on that side. Oh, but I do on the other side. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so maybe, maybe I should. Uh, alright. Okay, alright. We're almost there. I know I said it was, like, eight more blocks, but I didn't realize I had forgotten all the trapdoors, so it's fine. Um, everything's fine. It's all fine. It's, it's it's fine. We do this, then we do this, then we do here, we do this, and then we're done. Basically. Oh, there's a piece of dirt there. Hold on. Hold on. Dirt scaffolding removal service. There we go. Can I... I, I love that my spacebar didn't want to move there. I love... Okay, all right. Well, you know, if I picked up the dirt... Okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Injuring myself in the process, but that's fine. There we go. Okay, all right. Yeah, I feel like there probably do need to be lanterns. Like, I might put them in the back corners here, like right there and right there. But I also need more... Um, iron for lanterns to be like feasible. <laughs> I like these two and I, I probably also need to put some inside. There's a little bit of stuff I, like I need to do the floor and get some more hay over here 
and then probably put like some lanterns up there. But uh, but otherwise, oh, and I forgot the water. Here, let's go get the water. Let's do the water real quick so that we can at least have that bit done. Where's my well? It's over this way. Looks amazing. Thank you. It's fine. I know. I ain't dog on fire. <laughs> it's fine. See, look, we have so much hay, but uh, but I'm already over time, so I won't <laughs> I won't do the hay on camera. But I can show you guys next time. It's you know what I'm talking about. You can you can probably envision it. It's it's not much. It's just adding more hay to the to the attic spot, and then like this bit over here being a hay floor instead. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to be like, ma'am. Um. They, they're, I feel like I'm going to come back and one of the cows is going to be swimming in the water and uh, it's, you know, if, again, if one of them wants to be Spider-Man and the other one wants to be Aquaman, then, you know, like, who am I to stop them, right? Like, you know, superhero cows. It's, uh, it works. Maybe. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Somebody should do that. Somebody should have superhero cows. All right. See, look, wanna be Spider-Man. <laughs> Um, it's a warm summer day, yes. Your snippers are climbing the jungle trees you put in with them and they've and you've given up stopping them, to be honest. <laughs> yes. Yeah, removing the bottom rung of the ladder, yeah. I do kind of like that they're climbing, but also if they fall, they they will take damage from that height. Although, wait a minute. Does that work anymore? That passive mobs take a seat? Look, and then we've got wannabe Aquaman. It's it's great. Could just call them manatees, the cows of the sea. You're so right, Lazu God. This one's just trying to be a manatee. And then they also like this little area. So, you know, I feel like once there's hay down there, they're gonna be happy. There is yeah, I could remove the bottom rung. I do also kinda like that they're climbing, but if they fall from up here, would they take damage? Cause I know that now when they fall off of a lead, they won't take damage. They won't take fall damage. Okay, I'm not sure which Avenger that one's trying to be, and I know I say Avenger when I'm talking about um, Aquaman, but you know, it. <laughs> can you tell that I, <laughs> I don't do huge amounts <laughs> with uh, with superheroes? I I've seen a number of the movies. I just also haven't seen most of the movies. They'll take damage. All right, okay, so I should remove the bottom rung, and uh, and get this cow down. Hold on, let me rescue. See, like they're just all. It's a party over there. Okay. Um, here, let me, uh, come here. Are you just stuck? Come on. Thank you. All right. <laughs> stuck to the wall. No. There we go. Okay. Right. All right. Now we can't have spider, spider cows. But uh, but yeah, manatees can definitely still <laughs> can totally still happen. Okay, I think that's probably a good place to end it, um, to end stream with with cows in in a barn successfully. What I'll probably do is build the sheep barn like off camera as well, um, just so that I've got a place for them. And then I need to figure out what to do with the chickens because they're the ones that are the most overcrowded. I just haven't brainstormed a chicken coop yet because I'd like there to be some kind of collecting system for the feathers. At the moment, I've got like 37 feathers from that, or at least before before stream, I had like 37 feathers from from those chickens. Um, and I think that's, I think I've already emptied it a couple of times. <laughs> so there are eight cows on the Marvel database. Are there actually 3-0? Are there actually eight cows? Or are there now eight cows? I don't have eight cows, I only have six. So I'm hoping that this is like actual cows in the Marvel database. <laughs> because that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, we uh, we also, I have a Discord, I also have a YouTube channel and social media, you can follow me on there. I am still relatively active on Twitter slash X. I, I'm basically, I'm waiting until like, people of color or other marginalized people leave the platform. And a lot of people have, but a lot of key people haven't. Um, so I'm kind of waiting, especially because 
archaeology Twitter was where we got like the best archaeology news. Hello, cows. Um, and uh, and there isn't really a replacement for it yet. And so Twitter still is the best way for me to see what is going on with archaeologists this season. That might shift over the winter as people um, sort of wrap up their dig seasons, but uh, but we'll see. Actual cows, that's amazing. X, never heard of it, still on Twitter. I know, right? Well, the, the URL is still twitter.com. So like, if you can't even change the URL, because why would you want to change it to x.com? Like that just sounds, uh, I feel like, anyway, <laughs> I could go on a rant about the, the slow death of Twitter and the lack of easy replacements, the lack of any real replacements for them. But anyway, there's a Discord, you're welcome to join. No pressure at all to look at any of these things if you don't want to, but they're there if you do. Um, and also the Pictish project that I was talking about, that is a project called Carved in Stone, which Clara linked to um, just slightly up in the chat. Um, and uh, that is, we are creating a setting guide for tabletop role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder, etc., where you can play in the late seventh century Scotland as Picts yourself. So you can just, you can just play. Um, so we're in the process of, of creating that. I've started seeing some artwork for it, which is really exciting. And uh, yeah, you can, that is available for pre-order. We don't have a specific time frame for release just because we don't want to keep saying something and then delaying and then saying and delaying. Um, it's We've run into a lot of snags with it, but we are moving forward. It looks amazing. Um, the writing is great. It's it's so good. It's so good. So uh, so yeah, if you're if that's of interest, um, check check out that link because <laughs> it's cool. As I get pushed around by all the cows, you know, cows are really important to the picks. They counted basically as like currency. They were super valuable. Um, so uh, and we have lots of laws like the Irish laws, the early Irish laws. Most of them have to do with cows and like what happens if a cow wanders onto your land that isn't yours? Does that count as stealing the cow? Well, only if you don't give it back to its owner within a certain amount of time, that kind of thing. So um, so yeah, cows are great and uh, and the pigs thought so too. So, <laughs> so we're in good company. Anyway, um, let me see if there's somebody we can raid actually. I don't know if there necessarily will be. Let me see, hold on. Let me see who is online right this minute. My computer's confused. Okay, all right. <laughs> My computer was like, what are we doing? Um, let me see. Uh, you know what? Let's raid Miss Charlotte because I really like her. She is currently exploring um, an ancient city, it looks like, um, ancient city adventures. Uh, she is not necessarily family friendly, so if you need that, um, Miss Charlotte isn't quite the place for you, but she is LGBT. Um, she does a lot of stuff with mental health as well. She's really, really great. I enjoy her. It's a very cozy space. So, uh, so yeah, so let's, let's, let's go raid Miss Charlotte. And, uh, uh, oh, hi, Febble Pebble, where, where I missed, I missed your thing. Hello, welcome in. I'm sorry that I missed wherever you said hello <laughs> um but uh but yes so sorry about that goodness um welcome welcome in oh there it is it's it's literally highlighted for me this is this is why i need to stop streaming <laughs> because it's literally highlighted for me it's midnight for you so you're about to go to bed but just want to pop in to say hello you watch the vods on youtube well this will be up tomorrow at about 4 p.m so, uh, so you can catch up then and uh and yeah i will set up a raid to go over to miss charlotte and uh, I'll, I'll set that up for you guys just now. Stick around for the raid. I do have a raid message uh, for anybody who would like to, uh, to, to copy and paste. And uh, I'll see you guys hopefully on Thursday because I'm feeling really good today. So who knows, maybe Thursday, maybe we'll get two streams in a week this week. That would be fantastic. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys later. Uh, there we go, bye.